Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Laurie. Today I wanted to share some fall fun tips with you. I uh, can hear the rain. I don't know if you can hear the rain, but we've got rain here and so it feels like that crisp feel in the air, like fall is on its way. So I wanted to share uh, a tip on our Halloween bench buddies. This is a really cute uh, pair of bench buddies. I love the beautiful black cauldron with the witch falling in head first with this cute organza skirt coming right out. And as she falls in, all these cute bu bubbles pop out. And this is all uh, kind of embellished with these buttons. If you can see, there's green buttons and it looks like the, the bubbles coming right out of the cauldron. So the tip would be um, this right here, these buttons are, they're easy to whip stitch if you whip stitch it straight through the fabric. But when you get to, uh, let's say I want to place it on these cauldron where you can kind of see it pop out or it looks like it's coming out of this cauldron right here. It's a little bit tougher to stick your needle and, and hold that button in place going through a satin stitch. You've got your uh, layer of glitter as well as your fabric as well as stabilizer if you did in the embroidery version. And it is going to be a little bit trickier to get your needle through and hold that and keep it in the right spot. So here's the trick today that I wanted to share. This is something I think is very really fun. I take my needle and I double my thread and I tie a knot in the bottom of the double strand and then I come up from the back of the butt button and I'm going to go down through the other side of the button and keep a hold of the tail. Don't pull the tail all the way through just yet. You can see there's the tail. To catch that I just put my thread through there and it catches that a tail for me and I'm going to hang on to the tail and I'm still going to come up and down a couple more times. We want it to look as though we have sewn the button on without really sewing the button on. So you want to keep your thread tight so that it looks nice and tight across your button and I just go up and down a couple of times. So it's right to there and you can see it looks like it's been uh, sewn on. So then I turn it over and I take my two tails here and I tie a knot and I'm tying my knot. I'm going to tie my knot with my needle. It's easier to thread through. And then once I have my knot, then I'm going to clip my threads on the back and I simply glue the button on. And when you glue the button on, it looks as though you've sewn it on and that, that is one way of getting any kind of button on any kind of embellishment. It, let's say you're sewing through thick layers or you've got a button that, or a pillow that you've already finished and you notice that a button has fallen off or you want to add a button back on, you just simply sew the button with the thread and needle to make it look as though it's done. And then I just add a, some fabric glue or a glue gun and you just simply glue it back on. And that is just a fun, easy way to fix those buttons that fall off or to make those buttons stay in a, in a hard place that's you know, a little bit trickier to get through those thick layers. Does anyone have any quick questions? No, we are so glad that you joined us today and have lots of fun stitching this beautiful cauldron. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you so much.